Just like every year, Google I.O. was a pretty huge event this time around. Google CEO Sundar Pichai and his team took to the stage to announce the biggest things they've been working on and made a number of major announcements. Well, if you weren't able to watch the live stream, here's a quick roundup of everything that happened at Google I.O. 2018 keynote. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com and the Google I.O. keynote just got over with some pretty major announcements including things like new Android P features and major improvements to a lot of Google products. We'll be rounding up the Google I.O. keynote but before we do that, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Starting off with some of the most exciting announcements of all, a lot of new Android P features were announced. As Dave Burke said on stage, With Android P, we put a special uh, emphasis on simplicity. And they did that with gestures. Gestures that are very similar to iPhone X's gestures, which isn't really a bad thing. Oh, also, to make our lives even easier, Android P will not only show us apps it thinks we'll use, but also actions within apps that it will learn from our usage. So in the morning, it might show something like starting a workout activity directly in the launcher. Isn't that just ridiculously awesome? Anyway, AI is everywhere in Android P. Adaptive Battery uses AI to understand which apps you might use and the ones you won't to increase battery life. Adaptive Brightness uses AI to understand our personal preferences and adjust brightness accordingly. Basically, Android P is bringing AI to the forefront in our phones. Obviously, Google I.O. isn't I.O. without the Google Assistant and the Assistant got a lot of love this year. And we are adding, as of today, six new voices to the Google Assistant. Yeah. Oh, there will also be a John Legend voice coming to Google Assistant, so get stoked for that. Google also announced that the Assistant will be able to make reservations for us over phone calls. It's really better if I show it to you in action, so check it out. So how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. Sure, what time are you looking for around? Also, just like Alexa, the assistant will soon start supporting follow-up questions, along with complicated multiple queries. Today, we're going to unveil a new visual canvas for the Google Assistant across screens. There will also be some visual upgrades coming into the Google Assistant to make full use of our phone screens and all other screens it will be coming to. Plus, Google Assistant will also soon help us get to bed on time. We can just say set wind up to 10 p.m. and the screen will turn grayscale, subconsciously telling our brains to go sleep. Don't worry, all the colors return in the morning when you wake up. These changes will be coming to the Assistant later this summer on Android and iOS later this very year along with Google Assistant coming to smart displays in July this year. Google Photos also got a lot of love this year and most of it was focused around making our photos better and our memories more vibrant. So we are bringing a new feature called Suggested Actions. This really brings out a lot of cool features in photos like sharing options, editing options and more. Most jaw-droppingly awesome though was this. We can recognize convert the document to PDF and make it... I mean, seriously, that is insane, Google, and it's really amazing. The features will roll out over the next couple of months, and I can't wait. Google Lens is also getting some awesome features. Wait till you see this. I can now use the Google Lens to copy text from the real world into my phone. Look at this. Wow, Google is totally running rampant with new AI and machine learning based features and I am loving it. Lens will soon be integrated with the default camera apps in phones like the Pixels and some other third party companies and these new features will roll out in the next few weeks. Google Maps received a bunch of new features as well. You open the camera. You instantly. You instantly. You instantly know where you are. We're adding a new tab to Maps called For You. 
with for you google wants maps to be your go to place for discovering new places to go to new restaurants to eat at including a feature called your match which is incredible your match uses machine learning to combine what google knows about hundreds of millions of places with the information that i've added restaurants i've rated cuisines i've liked and places that i've been to lastly google recently updated gmail with a whole new design and a lot of new features now they're taking it a step further with smart compose so as the name suggests we use machine learning to start suggesting phrases for you as you type all you need to do is to hit tab and keep order completing the feature isn't here yet but it will arrive soon and i'm definitely excited for it well that was our roundup of google io 2018 There were some major announcements, and it looks like Android P will be a huge update to Android Oreo. But what do you think? Which features were your favorites? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your friends who couldn't watch the Google I/O keynote. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.